Welcome to Maze Leetcode Challenge. Today's problem is interval list intersections. Given two lists of closed intervals, each list of intervals is pairwise disjoint and in sorted order. All pairwise disjoint means here is that inside of each list, there is never going to be overlapping intervals. So our job is to return an intersection, a list of intersections between these two interval lists. If we're given a list of A and B with start time end times, we want to return the output of the intersecting start time end times between these two lists. So here there's a good diagram of 0, 2, 5, 10, and B being 1, 2, 5, 5. We want to return 1, 2, and notice how if the start time and times are, are the same, we want to return that too as an intersection. So 5, 5 counts, even though that's, there's no time in there, that still counts as an intersection. So there's a couple intuitions with these sorts of problems. First, because these lists are sorted, we should be able to solve this in one pass. So big O of N notation. Secondly, with these start time end time problems, usually you want to take advantage of the min max properties inside Python. And lastly, if merging these two sorted lists into one list would give you an advantage, you should do so. In this case here though, that, that's not the case. All right, so let me comment here a couple of examples of how this algorithm works. And there's two main things that we need to, we need to think about. The first is how do we know that there's an intersection, right? Here's a couple examples of three intersections and here's one where there is no intersection. So it's either the end time is between the start and end time of, of one or the start time is between the start time and end time of the other or they're both in between, start time and end time are in between the start and end time of the other interval. So how do we Cat, like how would we write that code wise? Well, take a look at the minimax, right? Let's say we got the max start time between these two. Here, the max start time would be this and get the min end time between these two and the min end time is here. Well, that actually gives us the intersection, right? The max start time between the two and the min end time will give us the intersection between two intervals but that's only the case if they're, they're intersecting because say that we're given these two intervals, the max start time is here and the min end time is here. So that would actually end up being, having a start time of, um, uh, would actually end up having, it, what do you call it? Yeah, a start time that's greater than the end time and that doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, so. Using those two uh, findings, we can actually write our algorithm fairly simply. So remember, we want to check the min or the max start time and the min end time. If the end time or the start time is less than the end time, then count that as an intersection and add that to the output. The second part is once we're done finding the intersection, how do we move on to the next? How do we know which pointer to move? because uh, we'll have two pointers pointing to each side. Like how do we know which one to move on? Well, think about this example, right? So we compare these two and we find the max start, start time and the min end time to be here. So we got our intersection. Now, how do we move on? Well, all we need to really know is what is the, um, w which one between these two has the less smaller end time because Imagine that the next intersection looked like that. Well, we've already counted the intersection here, right? There will never be another point that we have to worry about. Because we've already counted this intersection, we can just forget that and move our pointer to the next one. You've, no matter where this next interval is, because it's disjoint, it'll never be intersecting here, right? Because we've already gotten that point. So we can just move on uh, and forget that. And the same way we just uh, imagine it backwards. If it was flipped, we'll move the pointer the other way. Okay, so just keep those in mind while I write this algorithm. Let's first start with initializing two pointer pointers, both at zero. And we're also gonna create the lengths so that we could create a while loop. 
So m is length of b. All right. Now, while a is less than n and b is less than m, what do we want to do? Well, we want to get the potential start and end times, right? So we'll say start is going to be what the max, right, of a a and the first item in the list. And we're going to do the same with the first item in B. So we want to get max start time and the min end time. And this will be the second element. Oops. Great. So, like I said before, if start is less or equal to the end, we know there's an intersection, right? So we'll add that to our output. So we should actually initialize that up here and say, we'll create an empty list and append a list of the start and end. So that's all in good, but here's the part that's tricky. We need to know how, how do we increase our counter. So uh, basically, if the endpoint for let, let's say we take A, if this endpoint is less than B's endpoint, then we can move on with this interval in A. We just move on with A, else we move on to B, because there's only going to be two cases, either they're equal to each other or A the end starboard for A is less. So once we're finished with that, we can return our output. And let's make sure that works. And it does look like our test case looks good. And there we go. So this is not the most intuitive because usually with these sort of intersection problems like uh, you wouldn't be comparing one or the other you could find ways to do it like sequentially by merging these two lists but this is tricky because now we're trying to find intersections we have to compare two intervals and luckily because they're disjoint uh, we know that we can discard one once uh, we're finished like there is a, there is a point where we don't need to care about that one anymore um, so hopefully this helps you out and and that should be it.